there's this old <coughs> ancient, it's really what he is, this old black man. And you can find him down in the French quarter of Nolens, Louisiana. sitting by the side of Dumain Street. If you don't know, if you've not been down there and you don't know, Dumain Street, it's the heart and soul of the French Quarter. It's, it's, way, it, it's, it's away from Bourbon Street and all those silly drunk tourists that are making fools out of themselves, mostly for other tourists. Now it's it, and it, it, it it's Dumain Street. It's where the French Quarter looks in the mirror and takes a deep breath. It runs, it runs all the way through the French Quarter. It starts down to Cater Street and crosses the Rue Royale and all the way up to the Valier. And the whole way, it's lined. It's lined by these little shops, these little these little doors, unmarked doors, these little shops and. And some of those places, if, if you don't know exactly what it is that you need, then you might better off not go in there. <laughs> because sometimes there's some folks in there that will show you what it is that you need. <laughs> and you might not like it. Haints and voodoo and gypsy queens. Dumain Street, it's one of these places, it's one of these places in the world where with just a little bit of effort on your part, you can, you can see and talk to and get to know just a little bit. Some of the most interesting people that you would ever meet, real people, not people that just work down there for the tourists, but people that actually live and love and die right there in the French Quarter, many of whom were actually born there. This old man, this old man, I was telling you, this old man, his, well, his name, his name is Thibaut. That's T-I-B-E-A-U-X. First name is Leroy with an I. Leroy Thibault. He's got one of the one of the greatest jobs I've ever seen. He, he, he really does. You, you see him, he sits down on Dumain Street there on the sidewalk in this little chair. And then there's a little table there. And then there's another chair on the other side for you. You, maybe you, and on that little table, sitting there on that little table, there's this chessboard, and I don't care who you are, it does not matter, because the greatest thing about it, it only costs you five dollars for him to beat you at chess, <laughs> that's all it is, and the greatest thing, the things that makes it so unforgettably memorable is that I swear to you with each and every game every single game doesn't matter who you are, every game you will swear up until like the second or third to the last move, you will swear that you're going to win <laughs> you're there and it's like man I was close last time but Man, I'm gonna I'm get him. This I got him, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. I got this plan. I got some strategy. He doesn't know what that is. And look, man, I I, I got more pieces than he does. And look, I, I I got his queen surrounded, man. He 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 didn't he didn't even pay attention to my last move, man. I'm gonna get him this time. And then something turns on. And he's like, oh, shachmate, five dollar. And this continues as long as you'll let it. 
and you finally give up. You finally give up, and you walk off, and you're saying, you know, I was, I mean, I was really close to that one game, but that last, I could have won that last game. I mean, two more moves, and I would have won. I mean, I was, man, I'm gonna, I was so close. Of course, what happens is you get about a block and a half down the street, and then something turns on, and you realize that you never even had the slightest chance of beating that guy in chess. I mean, it just wasn't gonna happen. No way. Lower domain, well, all, really all of the French Quarter in general is also wondrously, repletely populated with a magnificent collection of young, mostly, women of a certain entrepreneurial spirit, let's say. <laughs> you know, small business women <laughs> trying to stimulate the economy and you know, keep the money sort of flowing. Um, also known as ladies of the night. And if you were a young man from out of town and you was unfortunate enough as to fall for or to become smitten by one of these young ladies of the Rue du Maine, sooner or later, something's gonna turn on and you're gonna realize that you never had any more of a chance with her than you did when you were playing chess with Leroy Thibault. <laughs> Here's a story about a young man who goes down to visit the French Quarter there in New Orleans. He's going to stay for a week, maybe a couple of weekends, you know. But as fate would have it, he meets a girl and he ends up hanging around way too long for his own good. As young men are prone to do. For it is there in that magical Crescent City on Lake Pontchartrain where artists and writers and poets and dreamers march alongside of fishermen and fools. If the levee holds the water, punch a train, don't overflow. And if it rains outside this quarter, no one here would ever know. Steps up Napoleon. I wandered through the streets. So many here in exile, no one would notice me on Dumain Street. Mississippi River winds its way down to the sea. As if I could have left without her, as if she could have stayed with me. with what we 
choose to believe. No one said Nolans would be so damn hard to leave on Dumain Street. So if the church bills of Loyola As these gutters fill with rain Can change this wine back in the water Why can't they send me home again? Thank you. Thank you all very much.